for those people who don't have the HubSpot, let me tell you the background here. So HubSpot is one of the major So today is an investment review for the Aki network. Token code is Aki. Okay, so let's start. So this is my portfolio strategy. So I only recommend assets to the Bitcoin and all the altcoins which lead to these seven categories. Then if you want a deeper understanding about my portfolio strategy, please check out my video about my portfolio strategy. Then here's my video link. Okay. Then as usual, I'm gonna apply the six Anaka points. So stand for the pain points, product, team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. Then for each. I set the 5.0 point here, so the total score is 30 point, 30. Then, if you want a deeper understanding about my how I'm gonna analyze each point here, please check out my video about my altcoin investment strategy. Then here's my video link. Okay. Then here's the total score about Aki tokens at this moment. So 25.0 point. Then my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm gonna recommend investment in Aki Network token, Aki. Then from here, I'm going to tell you the detail. Okay. Then let's start here. Pain point analysis. So here's the pain point. Web3 startups need decentralized HubSpot. For those people who don't have the HubSpot, let me tell you the background here. So HubSpot is one of the major SaaS products for any kind of marketer on the Web2 space. Because they can integrate a lot of like a social data like an you know, SNS data or search data or website traffic data into the one source, then you can analyze with the variety of angle. It's a pretty useful tool. That is why they made a huge success on a web 2.0 world. But the, for the web 3, we don't have any kind of product yet. That is why we see the huge potential here for the ARC network, because they already identify a lot of like pain points for the you know, web 3 startups when they're gonna run marketing campaign, like a difficulty on acquisition and retentions or incomplete user persona or lower acquisition or, or conversion rates or no promoter assessment criteria. Especially what I pay attention to, you know, from these four pain points is these two one, incomplete user persona or low activation or conversions. Because these two items show us like one of the major market feature on Web3. Because in most of the you know, project, usually they kind of seriously focus on influencer marketing and also DAO developments and operational staff. That is why these two you know, pain points, it's pretty much related to these two topics. That's why, yeah. Then let's move to the second topic, proc analysis. So here are the solutions. Building the data powered consumer network for Web3 scaling just like a decent hub spot, right? The here, there is a brief explanation about the network architecture. They try to integrate three major data sources from Web2 data, like a social network that I described on HubSpot, like Twitter, YouTube, Telegram, that kind of things. Also, Aki native data, which is like an integrated you know, data matrix between on-chain data and off-chain data. Off-chain means Web2.0 data, and on-chain data means Web3.0 data. Then, you know, Web3 data, it's public one. So everyone can access to those data, all right? Then they're gonna integrate all those data architecture into one platform. Then they're gonna provide, you know, an article SaaS product. It's pretty an effective solution for the, you know, Web3 startups to minimize their, you know, friction cost for their marketing campaign, all right? Then for their product lineup, especially what I pay attention to, it's here, Aki in score. Because once you look at the product overview, looks like they are planning to you know, set that certain level you know, credibility score for the each influencer. Then also they're gonna build the influencer network inside their platform. So those Web3 player, when they're gonna want to start their marketing campaign, immediately they can access to this influencer on the ARC network. It's pretty frictionless, right? then they can also analyze the profile of each influencer. So you can find out the most ideal you know, influencer to start the marketing campaign. Because some of the influencer is pretty good at like DeFi, 
the other influencer is pretty good at the NFT or like a game or something like that way. So from that perspective, those kind of like, you know, matching engine for the marketing campaign on Web3 will be quite effective solutions, right? Then here is the value compression analysis. So mainly I'm going to compare with HubSpot, do analytics and breathe that out. Okay. Then compare with the HubSpot, of course, one of the critical differences, you know, on-chain data analytics, right? Then, but still, you know, very early stage of Aki networks. And then about, you know, DApps matching category for the, as a SaaS product, breathe that out is much more focused on game guild. Then Aki network more focused on broader use category. That is why Aki Network can approach to much broader markets, right? Then to compete with HubSpot, to me, one of the critical differentiation point is this one, KOE token incentive program or DAO token incentive program. Because in HubSpot is a central supplier, they cannot provide such, such token columns ever. Then that would be the critical competitive edge for the Aki Network to compete with HubSpot. That's why, okay? Then number three, team analysis. So here's the team detail. So Nifty Orker, tech lead. He's a serial tech entrepreneur and then he got elected as Forbes 30, under 30 years, it's great tractions. Then Steve Chong, product, previously in auto infrastructure team from Meta Facebook, it's great. Then Melody Tyler, project lead. So she's one of the you know, influencing angel investor in the crypto space, great tractions because she's already invested in 40 plus project. Then some of the portfolio is, you know, Steppens, great, huge success, it's amazing traction. Then fourth guy, C, community and marketing, managing crypto communities covering 8,000 membership, it's great. Then Ming, strategy research, experiences a researcher and product manager and three years experiences in product design and background in the data science and art, MIT and the UIUC alumni. It's great. Their team capability depends on the technical potential for the nifty orker, but overall it's well balanced team. Then they're gonna find it in January 2022. So it's pretty early stage project. Okay. Then number four, execution power analysis. So Twitter stats, August 2022, 44.4k. It's quite strong number here. The since they're gonna find it the project in January 2022. So for the six months, they're gonna achieve Twitter photo of 44.4k, it's amazing traction. It's pretty strong capability. The other item here is this one, case study with East Sign. So they're gonna run their like SaaS marketing campaign with ETH Sign. Then here, look at this one. Project Twitter follow growth is 43k to 70k. Huge market growth, it's amazing. Then number five, token economy analysis. So here is token economy design matrix which I made. Then their major matching category is DAPS. Okay? Because they are the SaaS product. That's why. Okay? Then here is you know Aki token economy. Then interesting point is you know they're gonna use Aki token like just like you know incentive program for the influencer who gonna active on Aki network platform. So it looks like you know Aki token function like you know advertising token on the exchange. So once like you know, a lot of player they gotta use influencer marketing campaign inside the Aki network, buying power of the Aki token gets huge. So telling pleasure on Aki token also getting decreased. Then also once Aki token provide a staking solutions for these Aki tokens, those influencer who gonna receive Aki tokens for the incentives in this market campaign, they gotta stake these Aki tokens. That is why setting pressure on Aki token gets decreased, right? So that's the kind of you know, key based token economic stuff. All right? Now, of course, they're gonna use Aki token as governance token. Then think about the long-term success of the Aki token. You know, think about the you know, supply and demand economy, you know, how they're gonna aggregate or accumulate or you know develop the community with that huge amount of like Web3 influencer, that would be key success for them. Because you know, influencer all the time looking for 
their monetization opportunity, right? So that's, I think, you know, one of the key success for them in long term, including their staking solutions. That's what I'm thinking about, okay? Now, here is, you know, token economy for the distribution plan. So 3.0% goes to advisor, 15% goes to team, and 70% goes to investor, and 24% is data contributors. Then 36% ecosystem incentives, and 5% goes to community reserve, okay? Then benchmark analysis as of August 2022. So still, Aki Network has not issued their token yet. That is why there is no market cap. Then the for reference, Brita DAO will be kind of a good reference for the Aki Network. Currently, 6.5 million market cap. Still pretty early stage. Then their ultimate benchmark is half spot. 168 billions. It's great targets for them. Then governance DAO, very critical because DAO will be critical community advantage to compete with Web 2.0 tech giants all the way, right? Then number six, hypercycle analysis. So here is Gartner hypercycle analysis, blockchain technology, Web 3, hypercycle, 220 versions, and their major matching category here is decentralized applications, NFT, Web 3, and metaverse. Then think about the long term, especially Aki staking. Looks like they are thinking about like a DeFi related solution here. So I said the tokenization and the DeFi another key matching category here. Especially once they can run the Aki token economics, like a advertising token economic stuff, the tokenization is one of the you know, key matching category for them. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Then total swap dates. So about pain point 5.0. Without any questions, we need decentralized hub spot for Web3. Okay. Product 3.5. Still pretty early stage, but uh, I think to focus on influencer marketing, also build a strong market community on the influencer network, play a critical role here for them. Team level 4.5, well balanced team. Then, especially, I want to see the huge potential for the technical capability on a, you know, all car. That's what I'm thinking about. Then, number four, extension power. Since they can achieve 44.4K Twitter follower just for six months, Amazing interactions, 4.0. Then for the token economy, 3.5. I simply say they have not issued a token yet. Then still a little bit unclear for me how they're gonna design the entire token economy stuff, including like incentive program for like you know influencer here. So I said the little lower score here, 3.5. The hype cycle, 4.5. It's a great advantage for them to get the market momentum for like the wave three and the metaverse. It's a huge advantage for them. So that is why 4.5. The total score is 25.0 point. Then my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. Then from this perspective, I'm going to recommend an investment in Aki Network Token, Aki. Okay? Then if you're interested in much more detailed information about my portfolio allocations and also my real-time, buy and selling action for every single crypto assets, including ICO, ID on DeFi, please think about to join my premium membership program, real-time, buy and selling signal. The major purpose of this membership program is to help to reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. The formal detail, please check out my video. Then here's my video link. Okay. All right, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain level investment outcome with this video and this video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will probably help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and water space. So I'm gonna make a lot of in this video crypto and water space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.